Hey guys, this is Layton with Quality Pro Reviews, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a vocal lead in Reason. So, what a vocal lead really is, is just, it's a recorded uh, piece of audio, and we just turn that into something that's playable, and basically an instrument that you can use in your recordings and productions. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one. But first, I'm going to be giving you a sample of what a, a vocal lead can sound like. So here's a quick sample of a little loop I made in, in Reason. And my vocal lead is going to be on the top. And after you hear the groove, I'll so solo it for a bit so you can hear what it sounds like on its own. All right. So here we go. So that's the vocal lead on the song. Yeah, so that's an example of what it sounds like. So let's get to work. So I'm just going to close this. And what I've already done is I've pre-recorded just uh, some clips of me just saying the word A. You can record your own audio or you can take uh, existing recorded audio or samples from anything you like. So I'm just going to play a bit of it. I, I hate hearing my own voice, but I need you guys to kind of see what we're working with and then we'll take it from there. Alright, so you, you, you'll notice that I kind of do different variations on it, but um, yeah, so that's what we're working with. Not the greatest. <laughs> I don't I don't profess to be a, a great singer, but um, all I'm trying to do is, is sing A, the, that sound, the sound A, but I'm trying to do it in the key of C. So I don't have, well, I, th I thought I had okay pitch. Boy, if you don't get but I can tell that it needs some work. So before we can turn this into an instrument, we need to first ensure that um this is pitched correct. Otherwise, if we put this in our productions, things are gonna sound slightly off, and we don't want that, right? So there are two ways you can go about it. If you're in an older version of Reason, you can take this audio that you have and run it through Neptune, or you can uh, do what we're doing in Reason 9. So what we're going to do is select that waveform and we're going to go into Pitch Edit. And all we're going to do is we can see like, for instance, this one is way off. I'm a little sharp when I start the A. And then this one's not bad. Uh, this one's sharp as well and then it drifts into the C and the last one's not bad. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit Command A on my keyboard or Control A if you're on a um, PC. So that will select all the notes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select correct. And what it's going to do, it's gonna try and move those notes where they should go. So as I said before, my first A was a little sharp, so my guess is it's going to go to C sharp because the transpose is set to jump. Um, so by just touching on the note, we will hear what note it's trying to hit. So yeah, so that's C sharp, but that's C, right? So I don't think I'm going to use this clip. My second one, though, my second one is definitely on C. That's great. Uh, here's some drift as well on the third one. Starts in C sharp, then drifts down to, to C. And then my fourth and fifth ones are pretty spot on. All right? So I think I'm going to go with the last clip. So I'm just going to exit pitch edit mode. And I'm just going to listen to that one more time just to make sure I'm happy with it. Eh. Eh. 
Actually, I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with number four. Just listen to it one more time. Eh. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I like the inflection on that. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to need to turn this into a sample. So I'm going to turn off snap mode. So that way I can move these uh, little levers the way I'd want to. And I'm going to zoom in a bit because we're going to get a little surgical. So what I'm doing on my keyboard, I'm doing command and the plus key on Windows. It'll be control and plus and that will zoom in and then control uh, minus or command minus. If you're on a Mac, that will zoom out. So I'm going to zoom in here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull my start point to there. Then I'm going to go for my end point. And I'm going to drag this all the way in to where I want it to end. So and I'm going to go in a little bit tighter now that I've kind of got my end and my start points. And right where this last little transient is, that's where I'm going to end. So I'm just going to catch that little transient. So that's what we're working with. All right. So what I'm going to do from here now, now that I have basically the clip that I want, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go bounce and then I'm going to go bounce clip to new samples. All right. So now I have that as a sample. I can play that. Eh. Perfect. So while I'm here, I am going to, we'll stay, we'll stay in this session. I was thinking about opening a new session, but that's all right. So what I'm going to do from here now, I'm just going to switch to my rack view and I'm going to create a new instrument. And this will be under reason devices. It's going to be the NNXT advanced sampler. Technically I could do this with the NN19, but uh, I have a bit more flexibility in terms of what I'd want to do with the sound. So I'm going to use the NNXT advanced sampler. Also, if, if any of you guys would like to see this uh, vocal lead tutorial in logic, just hit the like button or leave a comment and I'll get working on one as soon as possible. All right. So now we have um, our NNXT loaded has no sounds in it, no patches loaded as well. What we're going to do is open up the editor, clicking this little arrow thing here. So now we have the editor open. First thing I'm going to do is, is browse for a sample. And what I'm going to do is go to song samples and then all self-contained samples. And there's my audio track one. All right. Eh. And there it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit load. All right. So now we have our our sample loaded into our NNXT and it's set from region uh, C1 to C6. So this is fully playable on a keyboard. I'm quickly just going to move over to my keyboard so you can hear. So that's great. Majority of the work is done. So now we're just going to tweak this and make it what we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the key polyphony to one. Because this is a lead instrument, in most cases, you'll want this to be uh, monophonic. So you wouldn't want any other uh, notes overlapping it into each other or harmonies or that kind of thing. If you're looking for that kind of thing, be my guest, go for that. But like I said, we're going for a lead sound. All right, so it's gonna be a vocal lead. The next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn up Portamento up to about 50. And what this is gonna do is just gonna give us a bit of a sliding effect in between the notes. So when we go from one note to the other, it's not gonna be as drastic a jump. All right, so that's set. 
the next thing I'm going to do is set my pitch bend range to two. And I'll get to that in a second why I prefer two. And then I'm going to turn up the release on my amp envelope all the way up. So all this is going to do is basically play the entire sample without me having to hold that key. It's going to literally, as I hit that key, it's going to play the entire sample. And my rationale behind that is that it's a vocal lead, so I don't want it cutting off based on how long I have to press it. I'm playing this like a lead. I'm not holding any chords, so I'm just going to be playing one note at a time. So just give me everything from the sample. So now back to the reason why I set the pitch bend range to two. To me, if I'm going to be doing stuff with the uh, pitch bend, it sounds more natural to go between one and two. And I'll give you an example. I'm going to play something without the pitch bend, and then I'm going to play something which, with the pitch bend set to two. All right. So here we go. Without the pitch bend. <laughs> Now with the pitch bend. So it, it sounds more natural like someone bending their voice, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like, you know, someone's singing it. So that's my rational for keeping the pitch bend range between one and two all right so we're really really close we're almost there the next thing i like to do when i get to this point is to add a bit of reverb right so let's go to create and under effects i'm going to go for that rv7000 mark ii reverb this is a, a reason device if you want like i said you know Take this principle and go to town with it. Go crazy. If you want to use a VST reverb, you can, you know, by all means do that. I'm just trying to keep things simple for those who might not have, you know, you know, VSTs. You know, you can just basically do this with everything that's already built into Reason. All right. So first things first, I'm going to bring my dry wet to about 15, somewhere around 15. And if you hold shift while moving the knobs, you get smaller increments. That's a handy trick to know. High EQ, I'm going to bring that to about 50. So there we go. High frequency damp, I'm going to bring that to about 20. Perfect. And my decay, I'm just going to increase that ever so slightly. About 85 very slight increase just giving that a bit more of a tail on that reverb okay so here's what we have right now That's my voice <laughs> as a vocal lead. All right. So the next thing I'd suggest doing just to keep everything really clean, I would shift select both um, the NNXT and the RV7000. And then what you do here is right click and then go to combine to just basically put that all in a combinator to keep everything nice and tidy. And then what you can do from here is save that as a patch. Right. So I hope this was really helpful, guys. If you have any questions about this, if you need more um, elaboration, let me know. Like I said, I real I went really basic with this because I wanted you to understand the principle behind it. But I could have added echoes. I could have added um, phasers, chorus, like a lot of different kind of effects to the vocal lead. I just did something really simple just so that you get the basis and the principle and the foundation to build on. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.